This is the Dawn of Sorrow scavenger mode randomizer. As you can see, it's max. In most respects, the map is randomized, enemy behavior is randomized, weapons and equipment are somewhat randomized. But where are the soul drops? Well, there are going to be no random drops. I have to rely on what's lying around. So soul canisters and items and weapons that are placed randomly, and that's it. No farms at all. God, it feels so barren at this point without those starting souls. I have no options. All right. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's see how it goes. Bye, Yoko. Bye, Yoko. Plus 10 luck in a mode with no random drops is the saddest thing. Hopefully we find some good stuff soon. Here we go. First soul. Five power Decarabia. This is not looking so good. Durandal. Oh, sorry, it's Claymore. That's better. Okay. I can work with this. Hmm. A lucky spear fronting. Yo! This is gonna be a good movement seed, too. So far, so good. Hello, Hammer. Now, I was considering just banning the shop. It's vanilla. But yeah, I think we're gonna ban it. Sorry, Hammer. No patronage today. This is gonna be a true scavenger playthrough. Although, funny enough, the lore on Hammer is that, you know, Hammer himself is a scavenger. Going through the castle in Aria, collecting various high-powered weapons. You never run into him, but he's gotta be pretty strong to handle himself in a demonic castle. Good for him. Well... That's pretty good. <laughs> Weak on paper, but then you check the iframes. Snuck up on him this time. Boss? Um, yeah. I mean, how bad could it be? Even just bouncing off the guy, it can do four hits. The best Decarabia in Dawn history, no question. I'm not even gonna try that. I know for a fact it's worse. In 
Okay, new area here. I'm a little hesitant. Uh, this is kind of a scary one. But you know what? I've got a lot of confidence in this Dekarabia. Let's go. I'm no longer very confident. Alright, buckle in. It's going to be a long one. Now I will try out this Slaughterer's Soul. <laughs> oh dear. Please let this be a good seal day. Oof. That was a really fun Zephyr fight. And it's Needles, let's go. Okay. Once again, peep the iframes. Uh, okay, bad enemy to test that on. Can't really make a verdict until I see it in action. Man. <laughs> so when it comes to seals in this game, people don't know this. But Panther is a good soul. Actually, I think most people know that. What people don't know... Yo, Killer Fish! The Killer Fish Speed Boost. But yeah, the countdown only starts once you touch the touchscreen. Before then, you could like, get some coffee, grab a snack, take a nap. You have all the time in the world. Double jump, Panther, and Balor. What I really care about here is uh, Ints for that Dekarabia. This is pretty good though. Auto cancel spear, not bad. Potion left. This is where you really start to feel the effects of scavenger mode. Just no consistent healing. Hmm. Ooh, Larva Boer. Boer is one of those blues that's pretty bad in vanilla. Like, if you power it up, it's a pretty complete shield, which is nice. But in random. If it has good iframes, it becomes one of the very best in the whole game. 
So fingers crossed. I gotta use this final potion. This is not good. Oh, this is not good. If I have to reset here, it's gonna be so sad. I'm gonna try out where. Not as good as it could have been. About needles. That's better. Oh well. From the top. Excellent. Have a logic ray I have. Oh, I gotta find a save point. Before I move on to a new area. There we go. Okay, Panther's locked in. That insane Dekarabi is locked in. Interesting start. I just gotta make sure that um, any future healing items I get, I only use if absolutely necessary. Like this one. Nice pudding. Check there, I think. Actually, no, we're good. We got that one. Alright, so let's go over the bridge. Okay, this area makes me nervous. A lot of off screen enemies, a lot of enemies that come at you quick. I'm gonna take some damage here. There's flight. Let's put that on B. Money sadly pointless. Scavenger, and I'm wondering if this might be a decent idea. You could level farm. Like here's a save, you go in and out, free resources, get some free experience. I'm not gonna do that here, but I might do it later. Do I enjoy the sliding puzzle? Personally, yeah. I think it's a lot of fun to get good at. It is kind of weird for a Castlevania game, but it's a neat gimmick. Next up, it's Paranoia. Oh, it can keep Paranoia locked to the ground? I've never seen a soul do this. Wild. I 
but it's so good. The iframes of the gods. This is the coolest paranoia of all time. Disagree. Nice haircut. Hmm, kind of a strong Une. Kind of expensive. And that sure is Une. Are you kidding me? It's just vanilla? How boring. Of all the sprites it could have been, it's just, it's still a plant. That's all it's ever gonna be. Careful. Panther's a little bit out of control. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back. It's not too much of a detour. There is something fishy about this panther. <sighs> I guess you're right. I guess. Any other puns? Any other contenders? Very suspicious. Better. We're getting there, we're getting there. take this time to recap what I'm looking for. There are no seals relevant, obviously, with Map Rando. So I just gotta find the Talisman and the Garden and the Condemned Tower. And there's like a 50-50 chance that Tower Key is needed to get to the Abyss. That one's not a guarantee, but about half the time you'll need it. Ooh, Terror Bear. Uh, well, it's bad. Okay. I'll check my weapons later. Although, actually, you know what? Let me just focus on the int stat. Any int boosts? Oh! Oh! Okay, so it's a horribly weak katana. But then you throw the Decarabia. And this happens. 32 Gs. Alright, this is gonna be good. I gotta find something bulky. Carving the Milliken. That 
That is our first and potentially only yellow of the run. Unless we get lucky with a boss drop. Oh no, that's bad! Skeleton Ape messes up my Decarabia angle. Can't be having that. I'm getting carried by this thing right now. We came all the way out here for... It's a red! A Needle's Frozen Shade, okay. We're out. Oh, hang on. We're out. Flying armor is not going to stand a chance. Ooh, we got to try out the Barbaric chest. Let's take a look. This is a good room. It's cheap, I can just spam this thing. Hmm. Something's not quite right about this particular Rush Soul. It's like backwards, and it's exactly the wrong one. Truly it is the opposite in every way. Seems pretty strong though. We'll try this out on the next boss. Here it is. Dude, this is actually gonna be perfect. All right, Barbaricha. This is absurd. This is one of the most fun builds I've ever had. And it's Scavenger. Somehow, with fewer options, they've gotten better. Oh, hang on, this is also really good. Yes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Hang on, oh, hang on. Normally I ban this Julius mode stuff, but come on. Oh, it's bad. It's bad, but it's so cool. It's so cool. I wish it was better. So are we going to need the tower here? That's the big question. the door. Where's the exit? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is our last tope right here. Gotta be right down here to the right. 
Nice. Okay, tower key is optional. That's good. That's pretty close to the start. I think the warp is guarded by the tower key door. So all we gotta do is find guard in the talisman. I killed creatures so fast, there was no sound effect. Like that. That was crazy. He's never been so stunned. We got Rahab earlier. Hey, there's the tower key anyway. Truffle is excellent. That's a full heal. Oh, I had this marked by mistake instead of double jump. It's fine. That's some better defense. Nice. Somehow Cloth Tunic is my best. I'm not going to waste MP here. It's going to take us a little bit slower. Not expecting that. Wait a minute. Well, I guess that makes sense. That's gonna be just Dario 2 in there. Careful. Come on, show me a save. Oh no! Alright, Dekarabia, get him! No! It's only doing one. Oh yeah, this is really bad. Um, this is really bad. I'm gonna wait. Right, there's another one in here. Nice. Okay. At least I got a warp. Let's go back. Actually, let's go all the way back to the start. 
Is there really not a more convenient save? I guess not. I don't know, I've got some really strong options here, but um, my healing's been rough. I want to say with the settings I have, it's a guaranteed menace for the final boss. So keep that in mind, we are going to be having the, uh, the tougher final boss to deal with. You know what, let me actually just try this out. This is a new area too. Saves, huh? Not gonna space him out, huh? All right. Ghoul is great. Lucky to have that in a canister. Do I have any rotten items? Not yet. Actually, no, I think Amanita counts. So that's one. One power. Wait a minute. Hold on, that's pretty good. <laughs> A little bit too low profile. Now the fish panther makes sense. In this one room, it makes perfect sense. Light. I mean, this doesn't look very useful. I stand corrected. Rough dead end. <laughs> but I don't know, I'm pretty confident this is gonna at least take us somewhere good. There's a lot of uh, empty space left on the southeast portion of the map. Just gotta find the exit. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I see the talisman. Where did Dimitri put the talisman? He hit it somewhere.
Dario didn't even get boss music. Hey look, he was guarding the real door. That's cool, I've actually never seen that arrangement before. Dario required. That's it. That is it for the garden. Kind of a small garden. Some of those rooms were cuts. It must be past the uh, double doors. So talisman is true go mode. That's all I need. We're ready combat-wise, we're ready movement-wise, we're not really great healing-wise, but that's part of the scavenger experience. So here's a question for everybody, how have we enjoyed this scavenger rando so far? First time I've tried this, gotta be honest, some of the most fun I've had playing Dawn, but hopefully it's been good to watch as well. A lot of checks in here. I'm feeling the talisman. G at G! Yeah! You know what? I agree. This really is one of the best ways to play. Don Random. We'll see this again real soon. Just a please no choke here. As I'm heading towards the end. Yeah. What kind of stats are we going to get on the talisman? Oh my god, that's some good defense. I mean, the other one, the heart pendant, is arguably even better. With the int boost. If you swap back and forth. There is just one piece of bad news. And that is, this Decarabia is not going to be very effective versus Menace. We're gonna have to find something else. Familiars are also notoriously bad on that fight. I'm sure we got something. Anyway, this was the wrong way. Do you think Dimitri was also playing Scavenger Rando this whole time? Off screen. What do you think he found? So 
So you know what it is, Map Rando. I am once again gonna leave it to the chat to tell me where to go. Help me navigate in the abyss. I can shirk responsibility. Either praise or blame the viewers. So here we go. One quick area first. Uh, so much for skipping the boss. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's it's kind of... God, is it falling off? Is this real? We gotta look for other options here. One MP Grand Cross. I can see why it's one MP. I wouldn't use that even if it restored MP. Okay, that's kind of neat. I'm going back to this. It's so cool. Oh, it's so bad. This is not good. fight is going to be winnable, but I am not sure about Menace. How's my MP healing looking? Not good, I have none. Alright, uh, any good weapons? Gandalu. Oh well, it was good while it lasted. Safe one. I need to take as little damage as possible. I might even reload if 
if I find the abyss, it's uh, less than full HP. Gotta be real cautious. Okay. <laughs> hey, I found it. I'll just go in. It's fine. Okay. Do I go to the boss? Or do I go to the right? Abaddon or no Abaddon? What's it gonna be? Oh my god, really? Three to two, no boss. Next up, down or right? Down wins. No, no, <laughs> it wasn't down. That's so bad. All the way back. This time we'll go to the right. Okay. One for two, not bad, chat. Let's go. So that's pretty good. And it'll also be effective on the knee. That's bad, that's so bad. I'm eating the truffle already. It's gonna have to be the perfect phase two. How am I dealing with the spawns? Honestly, Barbariccia might not be a bad spawn option. We're going to be looking at about 60 hits on the head. This is going to be the tricky part. After that, it's a victory lap, I think. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right idea, bad execution. Oh, jeez. Alright, just, here we go, here we go. 
Come on down! <laughs> Just clear him out. Clear him out from the top. That one got away, that's fine. That's a lot of spawns right there. How about some uh, space here, Menace? How about it? What do we think? A little space here, Menace? Is this guy joking me? That's gonna do it for me. 
That definitely felt like a scavenger mode of final boss. I was close, so much for the victory lap, but uh, man, that was brutal. Next time we try this, I think I'm gonna allow the shop. Yeah, that would have been one for the books for sure. Some crazy dodges, but just not quite enough.